Welcome back, gang. Daniel here with the Cascade Card Wranglers, and today we are going to open a whole box of Zendikar Rising set boosters. Welcome back, everyone. Before we get started, just want to say thank you very much for coming and checking out the channel. It means a lot to us here at the Cascade Card Wranglers. If you like the content we produce, feel free to hit the like button uh, and be sure to subscribe so you get the latest and greatest videos as we put them out. Uh, Without further ado, let's get into this. So, this will be the first time the channel has opened the new set booster box or set boosters. Um, this experience is catered more towards people who just want to open um, set boosters and uh, is not really tied down to, you know, uh, a booster box uh, centered around a drafting experience or, you know, the collector booster boxes um, that basically our high roller items for what we call in the industry as whales. So this is going to be pretty neat to see if um, what this experience is like and if it lives up to the hype. Remember, this is the first time Wizards has launched this product. It's a little different. Instead of 36 or 12 or 24 for specialty product, um, there's 30. There's 30 set boosters. Kind of awkward, um, but... Nonetheless, we got a box topper as well, although I hope it's not damaged. doesn't look damaged, so let's put that over there. We will open that in due time. And we have our 30 set booster packs. Um, and again, this is going to be a new and unique experience as this is the first time Wizards has launched this product. So, without further ado, let's see what's in this new set booster. So, right off the bat, there's a couple of changes here. Um, and I'll try and best highlight it too because I, this is pretty new to me. So, first things first and we'll get faster at this. But there's always an art card. Um, and it has like, I don't know, 5% chance to have a signature stamp, a gold signature stamp. But here's our first art card. Very nice. Um, next in the list, you will find a full art uh, land, um, basic land. This can be upgraded to a foil. Very nice. And then we're gonna have a myriad of commons and uncommons and they're gonna be different. Um, um, you can get up to six uncommons or like a combination of commons and uncommons throughout the six and each card sort of has a um so it has a relationship with the other cards right so uh for example we got reclaim the wastes uh this is zendicon turn timber ascetic and i can see what the commons are so far they're green um we have living tempest negate and base camp as our uh, uncommon land here cool we'll try and um, separate the commons and uncommons and again there's a relationship between the commons and the uncommons um, we're not gonna try and figure out everything but if we see it off the bat um, then we'll be good uh, then then we'll call it out but uh as far as this goes, um, the next slot is your guaranteed rare, and then you'll have a wild card slot, description of abundance, and then finally your guaranteed foil. So, um, put the foils up here, and then uh, you'll have a um, token or what they call um, little mini game cards you'll see. Or, in a very small chance, you get a card from the list, the last card from the list, which is a card out of three, a curated 300 card list that highlights magic's past and present. Uh, Jace Mirror Mage for the art card. Very nice. Uh, Mind Drain, Glacial Grasp, Blood Chiefs First. So, Skyclave Shadowcat. So, Iridescent Horn Beetle. So, we get more uncommons in this pack. Marasa Root Grazer. We got the Skyclave Cleric, which I'll highlight here. And then 
reclaim the wastes and pyroclasticalian clasticalian sorry pyroclasticalian and our first rare is going to be a pathway a branch loft pathway and a border loft pathway as well followed by a common foil and our first card from the set from the list stony brook panoret don't know what symbol that is but that's a cool card we'll put that over there it's gonna be a lot of highlights here so as we navigate it um we'll try and keep it organized over here and um now that we know what the uh the order is and what what is in the contents here we're gonna go a little faster here so we got that we've got our uncommons we've got a showcase common very nice we've got the dauntless survivor and our first rare nahiri's lithoforming Followed by the Dreadworm Foil and a marketing card, which I don't care about. So, here. Next pack, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, well, looks like we got a set card because it has a magic back. Nice pathway art. Planes. Got a bunch of our comments here. Moss Pit Skeleton, Kabir Takedown. I haven't seen this card. Very nice. Alright. More comments. And Shadow's Verdict for our first rare. Followed by our Foil and Primal Vigor as our next set card very nice moving on and we got our full land here we have oh look at this <laughs> it's upside down i don't know how that happened guys that's interesting cleric of chill depths with the lollipop got a bunch of Commons here. And our first rare. Zareph Sand the Trickster. Followed by a taunting Arbor Mage oil common. Very nice. And this is the It's not a mini game, it just shows you the uh the game the game play, the game state, like the uh you know, the mat in front of you just for people who are beginning. It's kind of neat. Got Crazy Goblin. Mountain. Got a couple commons. Blaze through the uncommons here. Here's a showcase card of the Spitfire Lagak. Another common, Molten Blast. And our rare, the Cragplate Bailiff. Followed by, wow, look at this. First time I am pulling her. Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. The uh, borderless card. Very nice. First um, mythic. And then we have a common Vanquish the Weak. Foil. And a Goblin Construct. Very nice. Moving on. I always am a little uncomfortable as... A new product comes out because I don't know the flow of of how to open these so I apologize if this is a little rough but we will get better as we are going to open multiples of these and right off the bat I made a mistake of separating the commons and the uncommons and it looks like it's kind of there's another showcase Canyon Jerboa it's a little mousy and it looks like it's kind of hard to do that in the latter part of it because uh, it switches here with the wild card cards. Um, or the wild card slot. Mara Mystic, I haven't seen this. Very cool. And Rolling, Roiling Vortex. Very nice. Haven't seen that either. 
and blood price followed by a plant token let's move on there's uh oh wow look at that i don't know who that is but that's really cool swamp plays through these commons Got Spike Field Hazard for the modal DFC. Spike Field Cave, I'll try and highlight it when I can. McKindy Ox for the common. Tajuru Snarecaster for the common. And Valakut Awakening, as I said in the collector's opening. This is super, um, oh no, that was Valakut Exploration. I'm, I'm messing that up. That's really cool. I don't think I have gotten Valakut Awakening to Valakut Stoneforge. Um, for the modal DFC. Never mind. I was thinking of Valakut Exploration um, as the card being really easy to get. Uh, the Kargan War Leader as our foil uncommon. And an insect token. Uh, I have yet to see one of the mini game token cards. Kind of interested in showing you guys that. But um, hopefully we'll get one. Very nice. Ooh, upgraded to the foil Lando. Very nice. Cool. Let's go through these. Brush Fire Elemental. Balaged Recovery to Balaged Sanctuary. Thundering Spark Mage. And we have another pathway. The Crag Crown Pathway. Timber Crown Pathway. And we have two rares in this pack. Um, Tabarax, Hope's Demise. Not a very hard-hitting rare, but we'll still take it. And Adventure awaits as the foil common, followed by an illusion. All right, moving on. These set booster cards are a little harder to open. I've noticed, for example, I just had trouble with that one. Um, try and get better at that. We've got a swamp, a normal swamp, and some commons along the way. Another brush fire elemental. Let me let me do some 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 cleaning up. You know we're always organized here, and that's why our videos take forever. Um, brush fire elemental, ruin crab, skyclave pickaxe for the showcase. Uh, Kazandu Nectar Pot, Tormenting Voice, we've got the Ondu Inversion, which is like a super easy card to get apparently for a rare because we've gotten a ton of those in the collector boxes, and Mesa Lynx for the common foil card, followed by a Drake. Alright, moving on. And there is that first mini game card, real quick here before we go. This, this mini game card is it's it's sort of a token that shows you a mini game you can play with the cards. I haven't tried them, but I'm going to see what they're like. This is really cool. Our card forest. We've got a scav scavenged blade. We've got a bunch of commons. Territorial side cat. Skyclave Sentinel. Haven't seen this card yet. Gargoyle. Kicker. Very nice. Oops. And Rackmaw. Skyclave Ravager. Followed by Inscription of Ruin. The next rare. And a common Drana Silencer. The foil card along with that token we just talked about. Alright, moving on. Still no uh, Seagate Stormcaller. Still no um, signature cards. A swamp. Some commons. And our first or second mythic, Emiria's Call. For our modal DFC, Emiria's Shattered Skyclave. Very nice. Mythic number two and Amarius Captain for the foil, followed by an illusion. Cool. So, 
week number three on Zendikar Rising. I hope everyone's having fun. Everyone's gotten to play a little bit. I have yet to play again um, because I'm just so busy uh, with my day job. And I uh, also work at a gym part time. And I'm helping the family business as well because times are tough. Um, but uh, just trying to make some time um, and it's not working out. So I'm just glad I can go ahead and open this all for you all. And we can have fun together seeing what these cards are. Uh, not a very good rare, honestly. And we have another card from the list. Murderous Cut. Very nice. Um, not sure how um, how valuable that is, but uh, I'll put prices on as we go. Obviously, in editing. Very cool planes. We have a couple of uh, commons. Ravagers Mace. Wow, nice. Palaka Predation. Lock of Caverns. Haven't seen that one yet either. Uh, another common. Another common. Tuk tuk. And our third uh, mythic angel of destiny. Pack fresh. Very cool. Running out of space here. That's okay. And a sky clave squid showcase for the foil slot. Moving on. Very nice mountain. Let's get through these commons. Uncommons. And common. Boost of Drakes. And our first borderless pathway, I believe. Right climb pathway with the green climb pathway um, on the other side for the modal DFC. And Farsight Adept for the common foil. And a copy. Very nice. Moving along. And we got another card from the list. As we see a magic back. Drana. Very nice. We got a foily. Very cool upgrade. That'll hold its own a bit. And get through the commons got some uncommons we got another showcase common prowling felidar very nice still a fan of the showcase cards deliberate uncommon soaring thought thief thief and a lotus cobra a very cool pack lotus cobra a lot of the collector's packs you get the uh, showcase version so it's nice to see the pack version seafloor stalker for the foil uh, rare and we've got Nightshade Peddler, <laughs> a common soul bond from Avacyn Restored. Remember this card? It's pretty cool. It doesn't have much value, but it's really nice to see, like, back in 2012 I was playing, right? And uh, it's really cool to see cards that you, like, played eight years ago. Distinctly remember them, you know what I mean? Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six mythics, guys. Or mythics, I'm sorry, six uncommons. That's interesting. I wonder what the ratio for that is, or what the probability, not the ratio. Gnarled Colony, Core Blade Master, and our rare, another Grackmoth Skyclave Ravager. Interesting for the duplication there in Tazim Royal Mage. Followed by some more instructions for a minigame. Alright, I think we are a little past half now. Halfway through. We're going to try and go a little quicker here. Now that we got a better sense of what's happening. So, commons. Coom Warrior. I haven't seen this guy. Little DFC. Coom Teeth. Cleansing Wildfire, Rabid Bite, and we got Aura, Skyclave Hierophant, the regular pack version, very cool, followed by Relic Axe, 
uncommon foil and a card from the list of victimize that is some creepy art man man look at that pretty cool moving on all right oh that's some nice art it's very cool island one two three four five all right, got Expedition Champion, Malakir Blood Priest, and Maul of the Skyclaves for our first rare, followed by a common foil Resolute Strike, and some more mini games. Ooh. Foils are becoming. Uh, here. Let's, let's let's make a pile out of these before I I mess that up. Because I didn't realize every one foil per per path, that means we're gonna have 30 foils. See? Didn't prepare. Didn't do my research. There's that full island art. Another island full art. This time as a card, a land. And let's get through the commons. Through the uncommons, we have a showcase common here. Very nice. Skyclave Skyclave Squid. Um regular pack version which you don't see real often skyclaves uh gop same thing um, i'm used to the showcase version and lithoform engine very nice this is probably the most uh loopy card in the set with uh copies and stuff but those artifacts those pesky artifacts you know um real cool card has some value to it and could be our outrider for the um regular common foil moving on oh this one did not open cleanly sorry guys we've got some nice art lando Let's get through the commons here got a showcase got practice tactics as a common mofo falconer as the uncommon and we've got another angel of destiny wow for the duplication mythic over here all right and ghastly gloom hunter for the foil common and a cat token <clears throat> so what do you guys think about this product overall um, there's a lot of complaints about the fine tuning, calling for the fine tuning of the uh, of of the list, as there's a lot of meaningless cards in the list. Apparently, again, I haven't looked at the whole list, so I don't know. But um, I'm enjoying this so far. It's a little different. It's nice that you can get multiple rares um, in a pack potentially. Um, I think they knocked it out of the park for being a new a new. Uh, product over here in our rare the crag play baleth and stoneworks pack beast for the foil common card very nice and then just a um an advertising token in the back there moving on Ooh, and finally we hit the gold stamped signature cards very nice and i think that's the angel of destiny which we got two of already uh foil island very cool kindy ox a couple of commons we got uncommons here as well grow tag bug catcher zula port duelist into linvala shield of seagate very nice and a common scale the heights followed by a mini game token very cool coming back down to the last seven packs here i believe absolutely and we got another card from the set list or from the list as we have a magic back all right let's get these commons through murasa Zul's Fury. Have I seen the back to this? Zul's Cliffs. Nope. And 
Got two commons here. An inscription of abundance for a rare, followed by a common foil. All right, and Bogart Arsonist. Very cool. It's huh. really cool art. It's real cool art. Got a goddamn tree helping them attack. All right, pathway art card. Very nice. Get through the uncommons here. Got a couple of commons. Legok Spitfire, Spitfire Legok. Non showcase. Always weird to see. Ordinate Rage and Shadows Verdict for the duplication. Followed by a common Mind Drain. And, ooh, this is an old card. Fodder Cannon. Very nice. <laughs> Very cool. I like how they included some old frame cards in the list not sure about the price but nonetheless it's cool to go back to that you know that was before uh what eighth edition got some comments we got a showcase elemental very nice expedition healer sizzling barrage and akiri fearless voyager followed by a into the royal common foil and a mini game. Oh no, not a mini game. Coral Warrior, excuse me. All right, moving on. Four packs left, guys. Coming in to the close. Let's do this. Nahiri, very nice art card. Mountain. Got a bunch of commons. Zoff Consumption. I haven't seen this. Zoff Blood Bog. Okay, cool. Common wild card slot. We've got a Shadow Skull Charger for the duplication and a Maddening Cophony for the double rare. Followed by a regular common or foil common Nahiri's Binding and an Angel Warrior. Very nice. Last three cards, ladies and gentlemen, coming into the caboose here. Um really enjoyed this just trying to soak in the experience another card from the, the list there's that healer foil mountain for the upgrade bunch of commons who cares Let's check out the modal dfc here coom warrior i think we've seen this coom keith and we've got spare supplies sneaking guide there is all the split current into risen riptide well, and card from the set is Oven, Ovenwald Mysteries uh, from our favorite plane, Innistrad, over here. Uh, is that Shadows over Innistrad or Eldritch Moon? I don't know. I wasn't in. Um, I wasn't playing Magic at the time of those sets. So, tell me in the comments below. Smite the Monstrous, very nice. Bunch of commons. Umara Mystic. Juari Disruption for the modal DFC. Seen plenty of those in the collectors. We've got Skyclave Relic. Very nice into Magmatic Chandler. Into Maddening Cacophony Foil Rare. So three rares in this pack. Wow. Um, it's possible in a cat token. And for our final pack. Last pack magic, baby. Here we go. That is a flooded strand, I believe. Got some uncommons here. Very nice. Jaraga's Visionary. Grotag Nightrunner. And Tajuru Paragon for the rare. Followed by a Song Mad Treachery Foil. Modal DFC for Song Mad Ruins for the last card, ladies and gentlemen. So, I am still trying to figure out what's going on with this because this was like a slew. This opening was just a slew of just 
new experiences because I don't usually get three rares in one pack. So, um, overall, I think this was a great experience. This was a great opening. I don't think the box was too strong, guys, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, five Mythics. Definitely open Nahiri and Lithoform Engine, which I haven't seen yet. Amiri's Call, I don't think I got. I think I have some Angels of Destiny from the collector boxes. So let's open the box stopper finally. The make it or break it card, right? Um, and see what we got for today's expedition. Ladies and gentlemen, Cavern of Souls. Oh my goodness. So we pulled a foil Cavern of Souls, but this is cool to see. This still holds some weight to it. Um, very awesome. Very, very awesome. Really happy with that since the last two were very... The last two collectors were big duds. We got like two lowest cards in the, in the expedition slot. So really cool to get the Cavern of Souls. Five Mythics, pretty on par with a draft box. Uh, mythics wise a bunch of foils a bunch of cards from the set or from the list on that um, Not sure what they're worth, but let me know in the comments how this box was we're gonna open more of these um, Gonna wrap it up since it's getting a little long here So this is Daniel signing out with the cascade card wranglers and you guys have a wonderful rest of your week